Welcome back to another episode of Traveling Through the Bible. I'm Greg the Chef Riley. And I'm Jenny the Sister. Uh, let me just tell you really fast about the Jerusalem pen you brought me back from Israel. The best pen I've ever had. Um, uh, it writes perfect. I love it. Thanks. Sometimes, you're welcome. Sometimes, you know, you buy things like that, especially in the touristy shops. And uh, you're like, eh, well, if it works, at least, you know. But yeah, you're right. They all work. And I, I bought like 10 of them, I think. And I love it. Everybody loves them. I use they them look cool every too. day. Yeah, they're awesome. Um, today, though, we want to talk and um, kind of give you a little insight of um, one of our good friends, Dr. Kroll. He's going to be on his 50th tour to the Holy Land um, this March. There's still room. Mm -hmm. So if you're thinking about traveling or want to join his group, you can. But he also has a couple other tours throughout the year um, that we want to tell you about. Now, his March tour, he's doing um, Israel and then the Dead Sea as a pre-extension and the post-extensions Upper, Upper Galilee. And I have room on all three options. You can do everything or you can just do the basic tour. So give me a call. We'll get you signed up. And that's March. That's March. Then he has a June tour. What is he doing in June? The Reformation. Cool. Yeah, with um, an extension to Osberg yep. and... Amsterdam. And that's Germany, right? That's the Martin Luther program you're yeah. doing. Yeah, that's a cool one. And then <laughs> in October, where's he going? He's doing Petra as a pre-extension, Israel, and then the seven churches. If you haven't done Petra, it's a must. If you haven't done the seven churches, it's a must. And of course, Israel, if you haven't done that, you got to go there too. Right. You know, Dr. Kroll brings a different light to the tours. Um, his Bible teaching, he was with Back to the Bible, so he's been on, on the, the radio, radio. forever. Um, but his background and the way he approaches each and every site, he does a lot of teaching there. Of course, our guides do. But Dr. Kroll, I've been on a few tours of his, and, and it's a different light when you go with him. Every tour that you can go on, you're, it's going to be a good tour. But if you can join Kroll, Dr. Kroll, any of his tours, he's really fun and it's going to be a good tour. And let the Bible come alive before your very eyes. Each year since 1964, and that's a lot of years, I've taken a group of friends to the Holy Land. It's become my second home. I'm as familiar with Jerusalem as I am with my own town. We'll hop aboard an air-conditioned bus and get up close and personal with places you've often read about in your Bible. And at each site we stop at, you'll eagerly experience the excitement of visiting God's country firsthand. We'll enjoy knowledgeable English-speaking guides who explain everything in detail as we see it. You're going to follow them from site to site as they provide historical, geographical, archaeological, and biblical information that will help you understand your Bible better. In fact, there's just no better way to get to know God's Word than visiting the country itself. And after our visit to a historical site, we'll get back on the bus for a little fun. How about a swim in the Dead Sea? And that won't be your only unique experience on this trip. Have you ever ridden a donkey? Well, Jesus did. Others have. Why not you? And if you want an even bigger challenge, why not take a ride on a camp? But mostly, we'll see Israel from ground level. We'll do a lot of walking, but as you can see, it's a casual pace. The best way to see what you've come to Israel to see is from the vantage point of your own feet. And did I mention the food? Out of this world. Perhaps you've eaten Middle Eastern pita bread before, but never like it is in the Middle East. We'll have other teaching sessions and worship services throughout the tour, so this will be both a learning experience and a time of spiritual refreshment. Each day I'll be teaching from God's Word. We all have favorites, of course, and, and one of mine is right here in Jericho. For a variety of reasons, <laughs> not the least of which, though, is the story of Joshua and the battle with Jericho. I will personally be in charge of our tour, which means that I'll work constantly with the guides and the drivers to ensure that everything you see and hear provides the very best experience possible. When we visit the Garden of Gethsemane, where Jesus prayed the night before his crucifixion, you'll see trees that are as much as 2,000 years old. In fact, some of them may have even been in the garden that night he was arrested. And yet, these trees still bear olives every year. And then there's the tomb the garden tomb. As you step into this rock-cut tomb, one thing will become apparent forever. Jesus is alive and has risen from the dead. Perhaps the highlight of our tour each year is our service in the garden tomb. So is this your year for Jerusalem? Isn't it time you found out for yourself? 
just how valuable a trip to the Holy Land can be? I hope you'll plan to join these you've seen today enjoying their tour of the Holy Land. It's important that you travel to Israel with someone you trust, someone who's experienced the land many times, someone who can help you read your Bible with renewed meaning. Going not just with Dr. Kroll, but any of the tours through the Bible, it just makes the Bible come to life. It, it, it really turns the black and white into color. And you know, you get so much more out of the Bible when you can actually sit there and say, wow, I've, I've walked in the valley. I've, I picked up stones from the valley. And we, although the Bible is true, 100%, but now you can actually kind of tell your body and mind and soul, it really is true, because you've been there, you smelt it, you felt it. Yeah. Um, but that's really good stuff. Dr. Kroll, and when you go and you've seen this, just call him Rick once or twice. That's kind of an inside joke, but um, <laughs> Dr. Rick. Anyway, yeah. when you go with Dr. Kroll, it's a great, great trip. I hope you join him. And if not, we have other tours going out throughout the year that you can look at on www.marinatthetours.com or you can go to www.woodrowcrolljourneys.com to find out more about Dr. Kroll's trips. And I'm going to be handling all three of them, so call me. I can answer any questions directly, and I can also sign you up over the phone. Or if you go to our website, you can sign up for his tours online. Well, it's been fun. Mm -hmm. Make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Subscribe. And don't forget the secret word, and we'll see you next week.